Statistically speaking, our asses are about to get kicked. But then again, you know, you go to these events, you, you learn from the community, you try and figure out where your horse's strong suits are, and it becomes a bit of a game. Zed Run always says it's not really gambling, it's a game of strategy. We're about to find out, you know, if that's really true. I can guarantee you, no one in the Guzman lineage has ever owned a racehorse before. And I'm pretty sure no one in the family has ever bought a seersucker suit either. So we're about to find out how real this is when it comes to democratizing horse racing for the masses. One of the biggest issues is like, once when crypto started, it's like, what's the use case? What's the purpose? Yeah. Zed Run, when it came out, was like the first application that I really saw and looked into it. It's like, wow, this thing has so much utility yeah. and so much purpose. This is going to take over the world, big picture, you know? Yeah. This is going to change horse racing across the globe, whether we like it or not. You know, everyone will pick and choose what they want to do with it. Yeah. And if the profit making is where you want to be with it, then that's what you follow. Like, is it a game that you just want to have fun in? Yeah, yeah. Or is it like I'm here to make money and like it's a it's business? Both. It's yeah. both. Oh, that's the beauty of it. Hi, how are you doing? Good, good. How are you? Can I get a, uh, a mint julep? Can you? Would you be able to do that? A mint julep? I think this is the fucking Kentucky Derby. <laughs> <laughs> guess that's it. I guess that might be a no. What's like, a, you know, something close to it? You're dressed like the Kentucky Derby, so I'll make you one, okay? Dress the part. Maybe this isn't just like the Kentucky Derby, but when my first horse was called up for his race, I felt a wave of excitement. Maybe Bitcloud could pull off a miracle. So Big Clout got embarrassed, but I still have another shot. Before my next race, I met up with a Zed head with over 9,000 races under his belt to see if my horse has what it takes to be a winner. So just like any other genetics, you're talking about breeding dogs or horses or people for that matter. Yeah. You know, there's always some pass down of your skill sets, your genetics. You know, I've got blue eyes, my mom has blue eyes. Same kind of thing, right? If the distance so, is a marathoner, you breed two marathoners, you're looking at maybe exactly. a marathon. And then okay. my horse here is... Um, you know, I can see that, you know, based on the odds it was raced at, it had the lowest odds as a marathoner yep. at 2200. During that time, it didn't get raced at 24 or 26. So but it did better for shorter races, generally. But, like, those longer races, the 2200 meters, it came at, it had a lower uh, odds, meaning it had a higher chance of winning. This is pretty complicated. This is pretty fucking complicated, bro. Good this is there. getting pretty hard. Not wanting to get embarrassed again, I took my failure of a horse, Bitclout, and ponied up to mate it with one with a proven track record. I spent about 90 bucks on a stud fee, and Financialize Everything was born. Hold up, real talk, let me tell you something. Surprisingly, donkeys will end up breeding with the You're saying that I bred this one, my donkey. I bred it with a Z4. Oh, shit. A Genesis? Yeah. Oh shit. So it's Apple. Yeah, it could be good. It could be good. Are you ready? And uh, and it's lucky gift taking the lead, followed by a hand drive, followed by financialize everything. Oh, financialize everything falling down in the stakes. And hand drive is taking the lead, followed by Ethereal Fire, followed by Character building, moving up. It's really hand jobs race at the moment. Financialize everything. Coming up from behind, coming in from the back. And financialize everything is taking the lead over hand drive. Wow, this is a tight race here. Financial oh, hand drive taking it right back. And Umbridge sneaking into first. Financialize everything is in first place. Holy cow, we're in the final stretch here. Financialize everything. I don't think I got played. I don't know if I got played, but I think that that's like at the core of what this shit's all about, is that no one really knows. And no one knows how it works. No one knows what the hell's going on. 
You know when you win, but nobody knows. They say they know that dude we talked to spent hours, days running horses. I don't know if anyone actually knows. Zedrun knows. But I, I don't know, it felt real at the end. Celebrating with everybody there was cool. I can see what they say about the community of it all. Even if the, even if the race was kind of pre-orchestrated, and maybe it was, the feeling of winning was very real, and I could see why people get addicted to Zedrun.